So back when I was in uni, I did psychology for my undergrad before switching to international politics for my postgraduate master's degree. Um, so I'm not an expert in psychology or anything like that, but I wanted to talk about a theory that we learned about um, when I was in my undergrad, which to be honest, I feel like most people have heard of um, to an extent, which is the bystander effect and how it relates to the current situation in Palestine. And the general idea of the bystander effect is just that the more people who are witness to something that's happening, whether that's someone committing a crime, someone being assaulted, someone having a medical emergency, something like that, the more people who are witness to it, the less likely anyone is to step in or do anything about it. And this is due to a number of reasons, one of them being the assumption that somebody else is going to do something so you don't need to do anything because someone else is going to take care of it. So why would you step in? And then also if it's in a physical setting um, and you're seeing that other people are not doing anything about it, you are then taking social cues from them and saying, okay, well, they're not stepping in. So perhaps there's some reason that I shouldn't be stepping in myself. And there was one particular case that we looked at, which was um, a situation where a woman was being assaulted in the street and it was very loud. Um, and nobody said anything, no one called the police, nothing was, was done until she was discovered later on. And when they went and asked people after the fact, you know, did you hear anything? Did you see anything? Loads of people said, yes, we heard. And yes, we saw, we went outside and we looked at our window, but we figured somebody already called the police. We figured somebody was already doing something. So we didn't bother to do anything ourselves. And in relation to what's going on in Palestine, you know, I'm sharing loads of stuff on my social media. Lots of people are sharing things on their social media, but I'm getting a lot of responses or other people are getting responses of kind of people commenting or saying, you know, oh, that's so sad. And that's, that's it. But not actually like sharing anything themselves, not doing anything themselves. Um, and it's quite frustrating to be honest, but I feel like a lot of people, especially Westerners or people who are not necessarily connected to the conflict in some way themselves, either by their ethnicity or by their faith, um, have this idea that it might be something that bothers them, it might upset them, they might see that this is a wrong that is happening, but because they assume that somebody else is gonna do something about it, they don't bother to get involved in the activism and being the ones to stop it. And it's kind of along the same lines of feeling like, well, who am I, you know, what, what can I do to make a difference? How can I make a difference? And you can make a difference because if each one of us does something to make a difference, that is a big, huge collective difference. And I think a great example of this is, you know, the people who are going to stop the boats in Oakland where the, they're taking weapons to Israel and physically using their bodies to stop these boats from leaving the port. Because for example, me, myself, like I keep finding myself in feelings of, you know, helplessness or despair because I'm like, well, what can I do? All I can do is share on social media and raise awareness, but I feel like everyone in my circle is already on the same page as me. So what difference does it make? But it does because there's been so many people from my former communities, particularly from before I was Muslim, people I know from high school, people I know from elementary school who have seen my posts over the weeks and have now changed their perspective. They've changed their opinion and they themselves have started sharing things into their wider communities. And they're gonna reach people that I'm not gonna be able to reach because my community now is predominantly Muslim, is predominantly people who are pro-Palestine. Um, but these people, that's not the case. So they're reaching new people and it will spread that way so more people can take action themselves through protesting, through going out and physically stopping these things from happening. Anyway, it's just a message I wanted to put out to everybody is to really try not to fall into the bystander effect of seeing something happening and not doing anything about it. Because even if you feel like it's useless, if you feel like it's pointless, you don't have any followers, you don't have any people to, to influence, anything helps. Honestly, anything helps at this point. And it's, we're doing what's in our power. We're doing what we can with what we have, but everybody has to do something.